All right. So the 14 gallon peninsula planted tank is full of water. And guess what? Besides all the beautiful plants, Dumbo here, or whatever we said, name him. Elephant here, fighting fish. Oh, he's puffing up. Oh, he sees his reflection. Oh, you get him. Oh, yeah. Way to show off for the camera. So, this was the first fill after the dry start. Uh, my wife picked out a nice floating lotus and another plastic plant. Low maintenance, nice, but the 8C um, is growing in. So that came about off about eight plugs of stuff out of the little pots. And I did a dry start method with the ADA soils and I've got the ADA Brightly K and mineral. That goes in every day. For ferts, this goes in once a week. This goes in once a week. And I'm gonna feed him this. He might be, end up being the only fish in here. My wife might get another tetra. It's up to her. Um, for filtration, we got a media rack here. We've got some filter floss, Zeobit, Aquaforce Zeobit, carbon bag there too, and then some pond matrix. And the entire bottom, this thing has like a false bottom along here. It's full of pond matrix as much as I can fit in there. And there's another bag of pond matrix. I'm a fan if you can't tell. A little Eheim heater. Uh, the current USA, USA uh, freshwater LED. It's the, I think it's the 18 watt, the one, the one with a little more juice. Um, I want a decent light and uh, so it's got a little controller. And here's my DIY CO2, the tank's about to turn off in a few, uh, 20 minutes, so it's not running now, but bubbles go up that. It's been nice to see that, but I got a little 50 watt, I'm sorry, 50 gallon per hour Eheim pump in there just to do a gentle flow, um, but, and that's all my plugs, I'm just going to keep it cleaned up, but that's it, it's very, very simple. The CO2 tank, I'm sorry, is, is under the sink, um, I might as well show you, I can see it. Um, so, five pounds CO2 under the sink, and uh, no bubble counter. Most of my bubble counters up there, but this is an old Aquatec that I used in my saltwater tank for two years. Um, still works. So here it is. It was a little harder to fine tune it from down there and up here. So I added the. Uh, bubble counter and the, the extra little stem here so I could adjust it right at the tank and not have to go up underneath there and look and go under and look and go under so I'm monitoring my ammonia the tank is gonna cycle with the fish in there um, just because we went and got the fish and that's how it works so there's your temperature I can't like keep it under 78 like 77 to 78 we'll see I grew I did a dry start that grew the plant I didn't want to grow um, so now I have the HC in there. That's what I want to grow. And it just looks cool. Got a little drop checker in there. Uh, today I didn't get the CO2 I wanted in there, so it's not green, but the fish seems to be loving it. And best of all, it made it up for my little girl's birthday party. So. But he loves the grass. He's been eating like a champ. He sticks his nose in it and stuff. And those wavy fins are awesome. The low iron glass, you can really see the fish good in this uh, animated marine 14 peninsula. All right, well, hope you enjoyed this nice little sweet video on getting this thing started. I'm sure it'll evolve. My wife hasn't originally had a plan for a Java fern or a Christmas tree fern bonsai tree there so um, that made it there now and who knows maybe we'll keep it simple 
but it's a uh, it's a cool setup looks good on the bar so all right till later